So as you may have noticed, I've had a haircut if you've seen my previous videos. And the downside of having shorter hair, apart from it can be a wee bit cooler, is with the light above me, because this is just a small room here, it sometimes reflects a bit off my head. So I'm not actually quite bald yet, but it's quite thin on top. But hopefully by the end of the video, I'll have the old mule hat on so you won't get such a glare. And you may have noticed this thermometer behind me, so it's currently 19 degrees in this room. Some of my other videos you'll see it's an awful lot warmer than that. Obviously there's no heating on, can't afford heating. I need all the money I can get to spend on the players. This season, every week apart from game week two, I've been doing a set and forget team. The idea of the set and forget is, that's what it says on the tin. You set the team to what I show you and then you can walk away from the game and forget about it and you shouldn't finish bottom of your league. If you're lucky, you'll do all right. So the game week one team, one of my daughters actually copied that as her team and then the idea is she does nothing all season and it's the daughter which drew the mule that you see on the intro. So I'll show you her team and see how it's been doing. Because I'm aware there's a lot of YouTubers that will show you a wildcard team. But don't you ever wonder how good is that team? So my daughter did the set and forget for game week one. So let's have a look and see how she's getting on. So this is the team here. Game week one. She got 99 points and the average was 57. And this is what the team wasn't very fortunate for her. Salah who was triple captain so there are no chips nothing played during the season but because it's the first week might as well play the triple captain so Salah did get 13 more points than if you'd obviously done no chips at all Ward Prowse did right this week Chilwell came on got nine James seven Cancelo seven Ramsdale six Mitrovic 13 Martinelli eight so overall it was a good team plus Walker on the bench had six so game week one, if we look at the game week history, globally, she was within the top 2,000, which is higher than I've ever been for any game week. And then as the other game weeks went on, you can see she's got a red arrow each week apart from game week seven where there are no games. So it's not surprising she's going to be going down, but that's fine. And if I go back to the points, you're, this is game week eight here. You've probably seen this, but on every page it says the average point. So the average for everyone playing the game in game week 8 was 50. We can look at game week 7. There were no games. Game week 6, it was 45 points. Game week 5, 62, etc. So I knocked up in Excel. I say knocked up. It took me quite a long time. I did a chart and I calculated for all the game week set and forgets I've done how much they would have got had somebody set the team because I thought it'd be interesting to see as time goes by how well these teams perform where you do nothing with them now the idea of the game week one but the challenge for myself was to finish in the top 75 percent which is probably going to be in about the top 8 million by the end of the season so I'll bring up the results so far, but don't worry, I'll whiz through it. And then I'll do the set and forget team for game week nine, which is the week we're about to go into. So the set and forget scores. So what you can see in this table here, and I'm aware a lot of you watch this on the phone, so you probably can't make this out at all. So I'll try and explain it. Don't worry, I won't read every cell. Down the columns, the first column is simply called game week. It says which game week is it? So as we go down the game weeks, you go down the table. The second column is called average. This is the global average for that game week. And then in game week one, this is the set and forget team for game week one, how it did for each week. So the, gate, so the first week, it got 99 points. Second week, 60. Third week, 49, etc. The green cells are cells where the set and forget team did better than average. The red ones, it did worse than average. So that's the game week one team. Didn't do anything for game week two. And then here are the other game weeks, three all the way to eight. So you'll see, for example, game week three didn't have anything in for the first two game weeks, of course, because it didn't exist till game week three. And then in game week three, it got 53, average of 48, so it's green. All of them got red for game week eight because there were six teams not playing. And because these teams are set up to be the best for the whole season, obviously they're all going to be missing players because there were some good teams that didn't play. So the fact they're all red for game week eight doesn't bother me too much. Game week seven was set and then game week seven, there were no scores. So seven and eight are kind of on a par and they're both doing quite bad, but that's fine. So these are the scores. Now, if we take away the average from each of these, this shows how 
much better or worse than the average each of the set and forget teams did for each of the weeks. So again, I won't go through all the numbers, but if you can see in your phone, green was better than average, red is worse than average. And then the final slide shows us the running total minus the average. So after the eighth game week, game week one is 10 better than average. Game week three is eight better than average. Game week four is the best, which is 38 above the average. This is the average of all scores since, for example, game week four. If I just jump back to, you'll see game week four in its first game week got 102 points where the average was 62. And I checked back and it just so happened I happened to pick some very good players that did very well that week. So that was nice. So there we have it. I'm That took a lot of work and I'm aware it may be no one's interested. So if anyone can say, yeah, that was a bit interesting, that'd be nice. And then I guess when we do the World Cup, I'll look at how we've done for 16 game weeks. So if I've no idea if anyone apart from my daughter has ever followed these set and forgets, but if you have, you'll hopefully be doing all right. So let's look at the set and forget for game week nine. And all of these are assuming a wild card, so there's no points, but of course you could just do it and you'll probably still be all right, even if it costs you lots of points. And they're all set at 99 million apart from game week one. So for a cost of 99 million or less, the game week nine team is less than 99 million. I think it's 98.7 million. So from Arsenal, you'd have Saliba and Martinelli. From Brentford, you get Tony. From Brighton, McAllister. From Chelsea, Rhys James. From Crystal Palace, choose Zaha. From Fulham, you want Andreas and Mitrovic. From Leicester, Everson. It's the first time I've had him, I think, in any of these teams. From Liverpool, Allison, Trent and Diaz. From Man City, Cancelo and Haaland. From Spurs, Perisic. And the forever starting 11, so I suggest you set the team to this and then you just leave it for the rest of the season. You have Allison in goal. And then the back four of James, Trent, Cancelo and Perisic. Middle of the park, you have Zaha, Diaz, Martinelli. And up front, Haaland, Tony, and Mitrovic. And then forever bench is Everson. And I suggest in this order, you go for Saliba, McAllister, and Andreas. And then for the forever captain, it's between Haaland and James. And as you can probably guess, I'm suggesting you have the old mule hat on Haaland for the whole season. So you make the vice captain old mule hat, the wee little dinky thing, can go on James. I thought about making it pink because he's got a little pink streak in his hair, but I haven't, and this hat's green anyway. So there we have it. The set and forget 99 million wild card for game week nine. And if you've used your wild card, it's okay to blow lots of points. If you're going to walk away from the game now, you should make up the points. And unless you're in an incredibly competitive league, by following this team, you shouldn't finish bottom. I hope that was a little bit interesting. I find it a bit interesting and I'm glad I'm keeping score of what's going on. So at the end of the season, I can see how well it did do. And if no one watches this and it's just me <laughs> looking at it, well, okay, there you go. That's what happens. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.